Chinese will be out stumped. There's the Malik to complete the first innings. Uh, should give it back to the bowler. Uh, we are letting our youngsters down when it comes to sports. We need to do a lot. They may be looking up to people like us, but is our system looking after us? Because I'm, I'm, it's unfortunate and I'm afraid to say this. It's just that if kids see someone like me being mistreated or struggling, then they'll never take up sports or cricket for that matter. I'd like to have a professional league, make sure that uh, players are contracted and then we take it from there, get sponsorship and make it competitive. Hi, uh, my name is Maurice Odumbe, former Kenya cricket captain, uh, veteran of three World Cups. At the moment, you guys are watching Sportside. Stay tuned. <laughs> no, I normally I just do coaching and all that, but I know when I play, I, it's just to fill the numbers. Uh, I let the youngsters do most of the batting and the bowling. You know, for me, it's just it's a question of guidance. That's what I try to do. But then when it comes to the nitty gritties, I don't mind stepping up to the plate. The moment we are really missing out on, on, on big events like the World Cup. And, and that's where Kenya needs to be, you know, playing the likes of Uganda and these other small countries, Botswana, it's not going to do us any good, not at all. <coughs> With our catch, Maurice Odumbe departs, having scored 15 of 16 balls. It's really good from him. Uh, hard work, discipline, very, very important. But then again, yes, they may be looking up to people like us, but is our system looking after us because I'm, I'm, it's unfortunate and I'm afraid to say this. It's just that if kids see someone like me being mistreated or struggling, then they'll never take up sports or cricket for that matter. If you look at football, rugby, it's the heroes that make people get into the game. Like, for example, people like... Uh, uh, the seven rugby players, uh, Angera, you know, Collins Injera. Now people want to take up rugby because they can see he's playing well and also is being remunerated. Okay, he's, he's living the life of of, a, of an international rugby player, and that's what we need to do here. You know, athletics is totally different, but team sport is what we need to concentrate on. So yes, I do appreciate. I'm appreciated out there but we need to start from home. This kind of uh, matches, we need to introduce day-night cricket. As you can see, during weekdays, some players are not willing to come and play because they've got to go to work. And also during our times, uh, the late Sherrod guy made sure that we were full-time professionals. Right. If it's cricket, it is cricket. If you want to go to office, then forget about cricket. So, you know, we, we need to professionalize our leagues. Yeah. But do you think there is a time whereby Kenya will reach at that level where a sport can be a full-time job to any player? I don't see why not. Even tomorrow it can be done. We just need to have the right people in the right place or places. You know, because if you don't have Morris or Dumbe anywhere near management, then what are we talking about? You know, we, we, we are so many out there who can actually do a lot. Someone like me, I could easily approach the president of BCCI, uh, the Board of Control of Cricket, Saurav Ganguly. I played with him. So for me to approach him will not be difficult. But somebody else trying to get hold of him, it will be next to impossible. You know, if you look at people like Brian Lara from uh, West Indies, these are all buddies. Uh, and we can reach them, but we are not being given that opportunity to go work and bring teams to Kenya.
I would like to have a professional league, make sure that uh, players are contracted, and then we take it from there, get sponsorship, and make it competitive. Like this, like this uh, African Cricket Premier League now, maybe I would like to have a second team as well for the youngsters. That way you, you have a filler, you know, it's like a, 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 a machine that it keeps churning out new players. So that's what I like to see, because at the moment we don't even have Kenya A or under 25 or under 19, and those are structures that were there before. Maybe Manoj will come up with them, we'll just have to wait and see. We are letting our youngsters down when it comes to sports. We need to do a lot. Ababu Namwamba, let's hope you're not just there as a, as, as a figurehead. You know, you need to take up leadership. You've got to lead from the front, Mr. Namwamba, because it can't go on like this. Here in Kenya, I believe there's so many talented uh, youngsters, both boys and girls. And I've always said, I don't think it's only me who could have played good cricket. There are others. They're just waiting to be discovered. So, Mr. Namomba, please, please, please lift our sports. And not only cricket, but all round. Because there is a lot of talent out there. I don't believe it's only Wanyama who could have played in the Premier League. I don't believe that. I'm sure there are many others who could easily play out there. But they're not, be, they're not being discovered. Our football is in shambles, you know. So th those are the kind of things we need to get rid of. We, we need to be proud of our national teams, not supporting foreign countries that don't even give a hoot about us. Uh, it's not comparable. Uh, they, they're poles apart, uh, and at the moment, uh, the boys have got everything that they require. You know, they, they get to travel more, they, they, they get money and all that. But I think uh, a lot needs to be done, and we need to have these kind of tournaments. And uh, it's very good uh, coming from the dream catchers, the sponsors, uh, people like Manoj Patel, the chairman of Cricket Kenya. So with this kind of cricket, naturally we will improve. Maurice will be out stamped. There's a Malik to complete the first innings. Uh, she'll give it back to the bowler. Uh, 